Hello YouTube, Cash Flow Thrift, new channel, first video. Um, so welcome to the channel. Uh, what this channel is going to be about is, um, you know, treasure hunting, finding things that just spark an interest in me, things that I um, enjoy. And so most of those things, most of those treasure hunts are going to be um, at thrift stores, um, discount stores, anywhere that we can find something cool, um, you know, for a bargain, something fairly cheap. Um, so, a little bit about me, where I'm from. Um, my name's Cash, hence Cash Flow Thrift. Um, we live in, me and my wife live in Mountain Home, Arkansas, up in north central part of Arkansas. It's not a very big town, a town of about 12,000, so the thrift stores that we get to hunt at um, aren't very big. Um, they don't see too much stock, um, you know, every single day. There's not much turnover in stock. So, um, the videos, there won't be any big schedule, you know, set. Oh, there'll be a video every Monday or a video every two weeks or something like that. It'll just have to be whenever I get, you know, enough footage. Um, now, there will be certain times, like, I'm a teacher, so on Christmas break, um, these next couple weeks, we're going to go and uh, shop in bigger towns, Little Rock, Fayetteville, Arkansas. So we'll have some more of a chance to, you know, hit some hit some bigger thrift shops and maybe get some more finds. So might be a few more videos here to open up um, the channel. Um, so anyway, um, I went on a thrift hunt today. Uh, I'll show a little bit of footage that I got from that um hunt and then I will come back for a recap I don't know how old this is. <clears throat> Still pretty cool. Ohio University. Man, it's kind of messed up there. This is pretty cool. See if there's any stains. This cool graphic tee. I don't know the brand. Made in USA, but it's just look at that graphic. That's just cool. It's a little thin shirt, but <clears throat> it's a dollar fifty. Then I'm gonna pick up this denim jacket because I've always wanted one. It's only $1.50. It's got some problems, but having one that's worn makes it cool. Or that's what I like. Um, not gonna get the um, <clears throat> TCU sweatshirt. It's Stephen Barry. 
which is was a cheap brand back in the day. So people won't buy that. This is too small for me. Ugh. Okay, so just left. Um, I'm in Flippin, Arkansas. Flippin. Isn't that a cool town name? Um, first time I've been to this um, thrift store, it's called Bargain Box. They have one in Flippin and then where I'm from in Mountain Home. Mountain Home's a bigger town. But that, uh, this one is a lot better stock. <clears throat> this one I don't think gets a lot of traffic. So, um, <clears throat> there's just more stuff in here. Um, again, I try to pick up things that if they don't sell that I'm going to wear. Stuff that I'm going <coughs> to I'm gonna use. Um, I've been looking for a denim jacket literally for, for like the past two years. And I mean, I found denim jackets like for sale like at Walmart and, and places that they, you know, they're nice, but they're like 20 bucks. It's Target, $30. I wanted to go find one at the thrift shop. That was my goal. And I've literally been looking for two years and literally have not found a denim jacket that fit me. Finally, I did. It's old, it's worn, it's weathered, but that's, that's what I wanted. Um, so finally, I picked this one up. It's kind of a light denim. Um, fits pretty good, a little short, you know, about hip length, but I kind of like, that's kind of what I wanted. Like I said, it's pretty worn. Um, the neck's pretty warm, but that's just, I just like that. So that was my first pickup. Um, in the video of this store, like, I, uh, <coughs> when I was looking at the jackets, there was some really cool, there was a really cool Columbia windbreaker um, with some really cool, like, 90s colorways, but it was just so nasty. It was, the, it, it just stinks when people don't take care of their stuff, so I couldn't buy it. Um, <coughs> then I picked up, um, well, what did this, oh, it's in the bag still. Found this t-shirt, uh, this kind of graphic, all over graphic tee. It's a pretty thin shirt. It was $1.50, and we're here in Arkansas, and it says uh, Arkansas Catfish, and it's just, it's, got a, it's just a cool graphic. I just like that. I'm gonna, I'll put it on eBay or in Mercari. Um, but if it doesn't sell, I'm gonna keep it. And I love, I like that. So if I, I'll put it on there for 15, 12, 15 dollars, and see what happens. Um, so that was a dollar fifty. The um, uh, the jacket, the denim jacket, was a dollar fifty. So it's three bucks, and I couldn't use a card unless you spent five dollars. And for some reason, I didn't bring cash. So, you saw all the sweaters. There was the TCU, Stephen Barry, that, um, again, I didn't want to buy because people see Stephen Barry as a cheap brand, even though it was a super high quality sweater. Then there was that Arkansas sweater. It was a Jansport. It's a good brand, but it was just so small on me that if it didn't sell, um, then I'd be stuck with it and couldn't wear it. Um, it probably would have sold being here in Arkansas, but I don't know. So, they had this one, uh, this Pro player um $19.99 national conference champions uh st louis rams um so i mean obviously st louis isn't a team anymore it, they're in los angeles but we are close to st louis so there might be some fans um around here that will pick this up it's not that bad stain there's a you know a couple little areas um but it's it's 20 years old <laughs> So, uh, pick, and so I picked that up for two bucks to make it an even five. Um, the Arkansas sweater was three dollars, <throat> so I really wanted to spend five. This is extra large, so if it doesn't sell, I'll still wear it um, <clears throat> because it's that cool 1999 graphic. It's just big, big, big logo on it. So, pretty cool. So that was my first stop um, today. Now I'm headed back to Mountain Home to hit a couple more thrift stops I haven't been to in a little while. All right, thrifting. Gotta get my eat on. Got a little Sonic three-piece chicken strip dinner, some tots. Got that onion ring, got that Texas toast. And then, got 
Give me the sweet tea. Mm -mm -mm. It's the fuel you need. It fuels you. For the big day of thrifting. So like I said, um, not many thrift shops around um, that have a big turnover in stock. So um, those thrift shops I went to today, I hadn't been to in a while. Thrifting is always something I've enjoyed doing. I enjoy like vintage 90s kind of clothes, um, things that I kind of grew up. You know, I'm 31, so I, was, I, I grew up in the 90s. I like that kind of stuff. So um, you saw kind of what I picked up today, so I'm not going to go into depth about it, but I got um, a bargain box in Flippin, Arkansas, which is near Mountain Home. I got the cool, big, graphic Arkansas catfish. I love the colors. You got that orange red of the catfish, and then the blue, um, the blue water, the greens, the bright. It's just cool. I just love it and how big it is. So I'm honestly probably going to keep this. I said I would um, maybe put it on eBay or Mama Kari store. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. So. Um, yeah, and I do sell some things on eBay and an app called Mercari. Um, so, uh, my Mercari store, I think it's just Cash Reeves, if you ever wanted to go and check it out. Then you saw the St. Louis Rams. Um, I've already got that up, trying to sell it. You saw the denim jacket I picked up. And I've been, I, I have, I've been thrift shopping for nearly two years trying to find a denim jacket. And finally, found one. Um... Now, um, the last store I went to, um, I, sh I showed you this in the video, but I didn't show that I picked it up. It's kind of wrinkled right now. I just washed it. I need to kind of fluff it in the dryer. It's this green, it says UT Track on the front, and on the back it says Tulane. And I would think, I love the, like the baby blue accents on the sleeve ends and the, and the, the bottom or on the hip. Love that baby blue. It's like an accent color for Tulane. And um, I, this piece has to be 70s, maybe even early 80s. I don't know. It's actually it's actually Russell Athletic brand, but it's such an old tag. It's an old Russell logo that I've never really seen. Um, I could be wrong. But this has got to be old. I, I love this. I, this was one of my best pickups today. Um, that was $4. Um, where the stuff I just showed you all together was 5 Um, So I spent up a little bit for this because I like it. I went to another thrift store today. First time I'd been to it in Mountain Home. I actually never even knew it was here. It, there was, I just saw a thrift shop sign. And they were having a half off sale. It was this really, really sweet elderly lady. And it was in a house, and I mean, it was completely packed. I couldn't even hardly walk through it from room to room. I really wanted to take a video, but I wasn't 100% sure if that's that was this lady's house or not. I don't think it was. If it was, I don't know where she did anything. I mean, it was... There was barely a pathway to walk through the house. Um, so I picked up one thing there. I felt kind of... I felt a little bit obligated because... I stayed in there for a long time. There wasn't much. I thought it would be quite a bit because it didn't look like anyone ever came. But I did pick up a shirt. It was three bucks. It was half off, dollar fifty. It's this U.S. I've never seen this before. U.S. Navy Originals like brand, and on the front's got this reflective silver Navy um, logo, and on the back it's got the same thing except bigger. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think military stuff sells fairly well. I actually sold a Operation Enduring Freedom jacket. Um, I picked up a Goodwill for four bucks, sold it for twenty four, um, not too long ago, pretty quick, sold it in like a day. So <clears throat> I thought I picked this up. Saw they sold for like twelve bucks online. This one has a couple stains, so I put it on there for like ten. Um, now that was today's recap. Now in the past, I would say couple months. I've had some other pickups that I thought, I'll just show you real quick, just to show you kind of the things I, I like. 
some of the things I find. Um, this was one of them, this hat. Um, I don't think it's vintage, but I found this at the Salvation Army Mountain Home. Um, my hair's all screwed up. I don't want to take it off. It's a Yellowstone National Park hat. And I just love that it's got the string in the front. I think that's really cool. I love the orange the color with the green and the blue kind of accent, the gray. Um, and then underneath, it's got a topographic map underneath the bill. I love it. I saw that um, for, I think it was a dollar fifty at Salvation Army, and I had, I had to get it. Some other hats... There's a, there's a thrift store called Yellow House in Mountain Home. Very small one. Went in there one day just to pick some stuff up. There's a couple things I got from there. Um, <clears throat> there were some hats. I looked through them. There was no prices on any of the hats. I saw this one right here. Uh, this was what caught my eye. It's this um, Ebbets Field Vintage Flannels brand hat. <clears throat> it's this old Yankee looking um, logo. It's an old-looking hat. I don't know how old it really is. Um, but I saw on eBay they have gone for like $40. So I've got it on there for $39. But I'm a Yankee fan. And I picked this up. I said, how much for the hat? She said a dollar. I was like, taking that. So if I get 40 for it, uh, of course, I'm going to take that and make a $39 profit. If not, I'm going to keep it. Because I'm a Yankee fan. I like it. Um, also, there I got this... Um, uh, members only world travel club a jacket thought it was real cool picked it up for three bucks um i've got it on mercari and ebay for like 20 got a couple of like watchers couple of likers hadn't sold it yet but i'm looking to um let's see um i'm originally from heber springs arkansas and we went there recently <coughs> and i picked up a couple things at a consignment store. <coughs> um, this Catalina brand um, windbreaker suit. Now, I don't have the pants with it. It just was solid red pants. But I just love... I'm a PE teacher, so I kind of like these windbreaker suits. I like to wear them. And this is a women's, but it's extra large, so it kind of fits me. It's a little short in the sleeves, but that's it. Everywhere else, it fits me. I just love how it's... It's just that 90s... That 90s look, you got the clashing colors of all the primary colors. Blue, yellow, red, some black. It's just, it's just crazy. I wore it to school one day, and they're like, Mr. Reeves, you, you dressed up as a clown. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, I actually do pick this up for four bucks. I've got this on Mercari and eBay, uh, eBay um, as well um, to see if I can, you know, make a little profit. So I'll pick that up. And then... At the same consignment, new, nearly new consignment, I picked up this members-only jacket. Um, love these jackets. Always wanted one. This is the first one I've found. Um, it's got the members-only tag at the front, that front pocket. I just love just the the way these things look. And this is kind of a black, but it's a little bit like sun faded, a little bit, which I kind of like. I like that stuff. I like this stuff to be look worn and weathered. Um, it just makes it cool. This one was uh, three or four. I don't remember. Um, and this is a keep. I'm keeping this. Um, I like wearing that. Um, then, let's see. Goodwill the other day. Um, I picked up a couple of different things. <coughs> picked up this vintage-looking Arkansas Razorback. Um sweatshirt it's a Hanes brand I don't know exactly the age of this it doesn't have it on here I wish it did but I know this was a logo that the Razorbacks used in the 80s maybe early 90s so could be then I've got this on eBay for like 25 bucks I put on I put it on there for a little more just you know if it sells I make extra money but I kind of want to keep it so I've already worn it once um so I got that at Goodwill in the hat section usually they don't have anything at our goodwill in the hats but i found this awesome usc trojan hat love the gold bill with the gold old trojan logo this has got to be a 90s hat because on the back it's got the trojans letters there love it love the gold snap um i'm keeping this for sure um and it's in good shape like it's it wasn't pancaked it's just it's got its form still Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, 
Then I went to a thrift shop called Elite Repeat Boutique um, here in Mountain Home. <coughs> Didn't have much, but I found this Florida Marlins hat. It was kind of pancaked. I've kind of tried to reshape it. I haven't completely gone through the whole process yet, but I just love that vintage Marlins, 90s Marlins, that teal, um, that logo. It's just so cool. I love it. And this is another keep as well. Um, I've always wanted one of these um, hats. And I picked this up. It was listed for three bucks. The lady talked my ear off. So I was like, I'm going to ask for less since I listened to her whole story. So I picked it up for um, uh, two. I said, will you take two for it? She said, sure. Um, Humane Society. Um, oh, no. This is another Goodwill pickup. Um, this Arkansas num number one 1994 National Championship shirt. And it's got some stuff on the back. We wanted it. We got it. We deserve it. Respect. Um, I'm not a big fan of this shirt, but it's a National Championship shirt in Arkansas. It's probably going to sell. I've actually already. Um, and it's Jansport brand. Good brand. I've already had a hit on it. I have 20 on it. Someone asked for 15. I'm going to hold out and see if I can get a little more. But this will sell pretty quick. Um... Let's see. Um, this was also the Salvation Army. I forgot to show. <coughs> I got this for three bucks. This leather jacket. Very, probably the softest leather I've ever felt in my life. Super worn, weathered. Um, and you can kind of tell, like, the under the collar looks brand new. And then the rest of it's, like, super light and weathered. So soft. I love it. Uh, it's like Conte de Milano. I don't know if it's, like, an Italian... I don't know. Just love it. I'm keeping that one too. <coughs> um, Humane Society Thrift Shop. Found this old vintage Arkansas Razorbacks sweatshirt. It is Peniel brand, I guess. I know this is old. Um, this is The tag is sewn on. Um, it's super weathered um, and distressed. And this is like a... This is a logo that was used like 60s, 70s. So this is old. The only bad thing is it is a large, and back then larges were a little smaller. So it's it's small on me. I've worn it before. Um, and then they cut the sleeves to make it three quarters, which I kind of like. If this fit me perfect, this would be a for sure keep. I've got this on for sale on my car and eBay just because it's so small. Someone will probably buy it, but I just love it. I just wish it was a little bigger. Um, and if it doesn't sell, I'll still probably wear it. And then, oh boy, oh, <coughs> um, Bargain Box in Mountain Home. So I went to Bargain Box and Flippin', I found this for a quarter. Arkansas Razorbacks 1994 National Championship. Found it for a quarter, there's no way I can lose money. I got it on eBay Mercari for like 15 it, You know, uh, no way to lose money on that. I will sell this at some point. <coughs> the Holy Grail of Arkansas Vintage. Arkansas starter jacket oh this is a beaut and let me tell you something this is a keep <coughs> i am not selling this bad boy so <coughs> as you can see you know this is the kind of stuff i'm like uh, i like this is the kind of stuff i'm looking for i'm gonna keep some stuff i'm not in just to sell i'm a pe teacher that's what i do for a living um <coughs> if i can make a little extra money doing some of this stuff i will um but i'm just i'm looking for stuff that i am interested in stuff that I will keep if it doesn't sell um and so those are my pickups I hope you enjoy the first video it went a little long I know it's a lot of talking <coughs> because I wanted to show you kind of the things that I found recently um, um hopefully in the future the videos will be a little bit more of the hunt a little less recap a little bit shorter try to keep them around eight to ten minutes long um but I hope you enjoyed it um let's hope the the cash keeps flowing and I'll catch you on the next thrift.